Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today is time for part two of the Zoya Lashes collection, which is their fall 2020 collection. If you are not up to date on my videos, yesterday I posted part one, which was the more purpley and the pinks shades of this collection. And today we're going with the more, I would almost say unique shades that are probably my favorites. So I'm really excited about this part of the video. These are available now. They're available in this full set. Actually, if you wanted just the colors, I'm going to swatch today, but you could also get them individually and available in trios. So the first shade we're looking at is Lisa, which I feel like Lisa is your standard kind of Marsala or red wine shade for fall. I don't feel like this color is earth shattering or anything majorly new however if you don't have one this has a really good formula and it's really pretty and it is going to be coming back in a few videos so you'll see more about that the next shade here is Soleil and Soleil is probably one of my favorites so it's kind of a coppery bronze shade depending on the light that you're in in the light that you guys are seeing it it definitely has like a copper gold like look but outside against like bright green grass I felt like it almost had a bronze tone to it as well perfect formula covered in two coats absolutely love it I feel like it's super unique and I had nothing else in my collection like it and then the next shade is Tasha which has to be the most beautiful brown polish that I have ever worn I, I don't think I've ever gravitated towards a brown polish and be like oh I want to wear that but this is absolutely beautiful it's that foily finish that Zoya does so very well perfect actually in one coat but I went ahead and did two for that full feeling and I absolutely loved it. The next shade is Mel and Mel is like the perfect um almost mossy Christmas tree sagey green. I don't know not sage but it's definitely like a cross between a mossy and a Christmas tree kind of an evergreen but not like whoa evergreen if that makes sense. Perfect formula. I really liked the shade of green and I thought it looked really good on then the next shade we have is Lou, and Lou is, I felt like it was familiar, but I actually went through my whole collection, I didn't quite have anything like it. It is definitely a blue that has a bit of a teal to it, but it's not like overly teal. Definitely still has a blue feel to it, but when you put it next to a navy, it's like completely different. So I don't know. Perfect formula, lovely color, and I really like it for fall. Then the next shade and the last shade is actually probably my favorite. This is called Tommy, and this is a really pretty blue that almost feels more gray at times. It's really kind of dependent on what you're near. So we're going to go with like a blue gray shade. It is really, really pretty. It covered perfectly in two coats. And actually, I like this one so much that I think it would be worth it for me to actually switch to one of the wider brushes for that. Because as I mentioned in every Zoya video, I do feel like that the bigger, easy, wide brushes should just kind of be the default brushes on all of the Zoya polishes. However, they are not. So whenever I do a swatch video, I like to use the standard brush. That way you guys know this is what you are getting if you buy this polish. You don't have to buy anything extra. And that's just kind of why I do it. Granted, if I use the polish a lot, I will change it over, but that's kind of just why I show it in the way that I do on my videos. So overall, I feel like this half of the collection was my favorite. I felt like there were more unique polishes and more polishes that I would gravitate towards too. And I felt like Tommy and um, Soleil and Tasha were really pretty and unique and I really, really liked them. So these are available now on the Zoe website. I will link that down below. As well as it being available, you can get it in multiple different ways. So if you liked all of the colors in today's video, you can buy that as a full set if you wanted. Or you can buy them individually. And, or, they also have options for trios where they have paired up different parts of the collection into little trios. And I think it's really cool because then you can kind of get like a full manicure that you could do like multiple ways and have accent nails. And I thought it was just a really neat way that they put that together this time. Also, they have sanitizer on their website, so if you need some and you are ordering polish, it's always a good idea to go ahead and grab that while you're there. I like theirs so far. It's in a spray bottle. I really like it. And yeah, I think that is officially it. So thank you so much for watching. I will be doing some dupe check videos. If you guys have any certain requests, let me know down below. I am probably scheduled about a week out, but I will add your requests to the list and see what I can do and hopefully get that in sometime soon. Like I said, I do actually have a lot of dupe comparison videos that will be coming out. Not all of them are like, oh my goodness, these colors are going to be so much like 
but they might be more like, wait, are these similar? Or, hey, this polish came to mind when I saw this. Is this anything alike? So I'm going to kind of help you guys in that case and hopefully answer any questions. And if you have any more questions, let me know. And I think that is officially it. I've blabbered on long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I totally appreciate the support. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye!